Hey, I'm Just Vosco, and we're in a brand new game on the channel. This is Micro Brewery Tycoon. Micro Brewery Tycoon is an interesting game. I've seen this on, uh, I saw this first off on a Ajax Post Plays channel. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, check it out at the end of the video. He does some really good content. Um, I enjoy watching it and I'm sure you will. Um, I want to give a shout out to the developers who gave me a copy of this. I am looking forward to playing this. I've had a dabble. I've had a dabble. Um, and it is early access. I want to point that out as well. Uh, because obviously things are being tweaked, things are being added, things like that. Um, I struggled at first. I'm not going to lie. Making money was not the easiest and it may not it still may not be i know they've they've played around with the, the the things and that and i had a bit of a crashing issue so that's why i haven't really covered it earlier but we are going to cover it now we're going to have a little let's play on this i'm intrigued to get further than i have done so ultimately you've got a campaign a campaign campaign mode which isn't what i normally would go for i'd normally go for like just a normal sandbox mode or, but not sandbox. I don't want it to be free. I want to pay, but I don't want a storyline. And we've got a little bit of a storyline, as you'll see when we get in. So we're playing in Boozville. Boozyville. Boozyville's the town. We're going to press start. Now we get to choose our brewery name. So let's see. I sort of want to base it on the logo. And I really, really enjoy uh, the, the dragon. So we're going to call it uh, Red Dragon... Oh, if I can type. Red. Oh, I haven't even. Wait, 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 wait. Capital D. Dragon. Um, Brewery. Very <laughs> straightforward. There we go. Red Dragon Brewery. Lovely. Our name, we are Roscoe. Lovely. And this is what we're going to look like. There's lots of different options. You can have all different types. Male, female. You can have random hair, like mad hair like that but we're not we're gonna go like this this looks nothing like me i'd like to point out but it's what we're going with so let's press okay game loads up doesn't take too long it's a really quick loading game and we come into here now we have a little friend in the corner shall we say for someone who's played this a couple of times he gets annoying i wish i could turn him off he's basically teaching us what to do but I sort of got a rough idea. So, this is the town we start off on. This is Boozyville. I'm presuming later in the game we get bigger and, and more complex towns, maybe? Maybe bigger? I don't really know. I've not got that far. And I, from what I hear, you can create your own ales and, and different things like that, which I'm looking forward to. But again, not in this stage. We have a mission to complete, and that's what we're going to do. So we can't do anything without following what this gentleman here says. So I'm just going to skip through. He, he doesn't tell us much interesting. He's telling us, um, choose one of the customers. So we've got the Dancing Pub Pony. So all the yellow buildings are customers. Dancing Pub Pony, uh, supermarket best choice, uh, supermarket maxi sub, Beer shop, beer station, and then the, the the orange is our brewery. So let's choose the pony. I like the dancing pony. So this is what we get. We've got a relationship score up here. Now the relationship score is important, and we will we will see why later on. These are the contracts the dancing pony are offering. At the moment, they are offering two contracts with no requirements. So do you know what? I'm going to accept that one. I'm going to accept that one. So, this, then you get more specified, uh, specialised beers. So, the Dancing Pony wants, um, wants us to supply some sort of beer with a strength between four and six. No particular beer, just a beer with a strength between four and six. That's not bad. We may consider taking that. If I click on it, you'll see here the information. So, it requires 400 pints. ABV of 4 to 6, and the purchase price is plus 16%, which is good. Ultimately, the hardest thing i found so far is making money, so plus figures are good. If we come over to these two, I never ever use these if I can avoid it. So we've got this one. If we click on one, plus no percent. If we click on the beer shop, choose one of those, plus no percent. So I would, like, avoid using those. 
The supermarket, on the other hand, over here, does give us a plus figure, right? Plus 16. Yes, very much so. And as you play through, random houses might light up. They might be having a party and they might want you to supply them some beer. They pay really well, so we'll be definitely looking out for those. Okay, so you have signed your first contract. Let's get to work. Open the control panel by pressing tab. You can press tab or you can just click on here. Either works. This is what we've got in stock at the moment. We've got 200 points of American Lager, International 100, International Amber. So we've got Pale Lager, Amber Lager, and then we've got a Dark Lager, 100 of each. They don't sort of go anywhere at the minute. As you can see, Destination Storage. Uh, wait, let's go through what are you saying. F right, so find a batch of beer which meets your terms of the contract and click the destination. So we click here and we say where we want it to go. Now our first con, they're both for 500. So do you know what? We can do that. We can do that. So that's 300, 400, 500. That completes that first quest. Lovely. Um... Let's organize the production. Okay, so now we have to organize the production. So this is where we produce our beer. We, we say new production line. Lovely. This comes up. We can't do anything until he tells us to. There we go. Now down here is the unused equipment. This is all the equipment we own that we're not using. Ultimately, we just need to place these into here. And that's our production line set up. We've got no unused equipment because we're using it all. Perfect, now, now we have to wait for him. Now we have to choose this style of ale. And through my previous dabbles, I think wheat beer, American wheat beer is quite a good overall thing that gets requested a lot. So I might, like in my head, I wanna go with the, the international dark lager because I, I, I like a dark ale, I like a dark lager, but I feel like Gameplay wise, this is probably going to do us better. So we choose which one we want to produce. We choose how many pints we want to produce. So we, we can only produce a hundred with this equipment, but that's fine. Then we got to choose someone to brew it. So I'm going to choose me. There we go. Lovely. Now, make sure you do, do these spot on when you click these, because I clicked it and didn't click me before, but it, it just registered that I'd clicked it. And then that was it. It wouldn't let me go any further because there was no brewer, but it wouldn't let me click back on it because this little man in the corner, I was very polite then, this little man in the corner wouldn't let me move on any further. So now we've got to choose um, two lots of malt. We've got to choose um, some hops and we've got to choose some yeast. I like this. I like when we click on this, we get all the different types of malt, the prices of them and the dependability. I don't know what the dependability I the dependability could mean how dependable it is to get a good quality so a four star quality maybe or how dependable the, the supplier is not entirely sure it doesn't tell me well it might tell me pay attention to it it might let's read it the higher it is the higher uh, is the reliability of the supply and the quality of goods so both then supply and quality of goods but so is the price so do you know what i think because we want to build up the reputation on the dancing pony reputation works in a way that if we send them lower quality we don't get a reputation point with them so we want a fairly good quality i think so i'm going to stick i'm, I'm probably going to go in the middle here with Malt King or Brew, Brew Like a Boss? BrewLikeABoss.com. Let's do it. Bosh. Then we get to choose another malt. Again, I'm looking at the 49, which is Thomas and Thomas. Thomas and Thomas, you can you can supply us. Yeah, why not? Now we've got the hops, right? Yes. So, this is interesting. I've seen this a lot. So you've got... 0 0.29, 0 0.29, 0 0.25. So it's almost in numerical order. And then 0 0.26 right up here. Wait, go back. Which is actually reasonably priced. I'm going to take it. I am going to take it. 
Right. What are we getting now? We are getting the yeast. Now, I would like sort of here. There's a big difference between 43 and 51 in all fairness. So let's go with the brewery depot. Then we're going to choose destination storage. No, we're not. It wants me to specifically choose a location. I never do it this way. You can, you can choose where the, these 100 pints are going, but I don't. And I'll, again, I'll explain that later. So choose the brewery mode. So you can do a once through, which will produce just 100 pints, or you can do a complete rotation. So once it finishes, it will start again. And then it'll finish and start again and finish and start again. You get the idea. Uh, I think in the tutorial, we can only choose single brewing mode, which again is annoying because this is all set up. I just want it to continue making. But no, no, no. Uh, now you can turn off the pause and just uh, let it run. And spacebar is pause, which is amazing. I love games where spacebar is pause. Here we go. We're going through that process. We're going through that process. All the while, our money is ticking down, ticking down very slowly. And then we get to this stage and this will produce the wart. It's, you don't get 100 points. As soon as this bar's finished, you haven't got 100 points to sell. That's not how it works. And you'll see why. There we go. Finished. He's paused the game for me. Uh, there we go. We can plan production, which I actually quite like this. I actually like this. So, so ultimately, if I choose, wait, have you reset my, yeah, you've reset it. So, wait, brewing schedule, let's do this. So we're gonna go with American wheat beer. We want all of them, lovely. Malt, um, brew, brewlikeaboss.com, lovely. Uh, anything good here? We'll probably go Thomas and Thomas. Uh, who was good? You were Hopcon. Hopcon was only 0.26. I'll take it. And then, uh, Brewery Depot, wasn't it? Let's take that. There we go. Lovely. Then we're going to go Destination Storage. Happy with that. We want, um, Repeat Mode. Lovely. Brewing isn't possible. Why is brewing not possible? Never mind. We're going to add another schedule. So let's add. Do you know what I'm going to? What do I want to add? Maybe an American lager? International amber lager. Let's go with that. Let's go international amber. We're going to set that one up. So what, what prices are we looking at? 68, 68. I'll be funny for a little bit more. We could go Greenfields. Yeah, let's go Greenfields. Let's do that. Then we want the malt. Um, again, probably Greenfields again. Then we want the hops. Now, have we still got Hopcon? Yes, we have. Let's take that. Lovely. And the Bruin Depot. Lovely. Excellent. So that one's set up as well. We're going to set that to rotating. Perfect. Now... How this works, it will do one run of that, then a run of that, then a run of that, then a run of that. So you end up making two lots instead of one. And I think that's really good. I'm really glad they added that. I think that's a really nice touch. Why? Bruin isn't, mode isn't chosen. Bruin mode is definitely chosen. But the reason it's saying that is because we haven't chosen it here. So now we've got a, a schedule. It should up alternate between the two so what happened to our first batch that we made it went to the wart now this is the wart it's looking good for 86 quality four and a bit stars that's not bad so wart is basically i'm guessing the fermentation stage where it's just you just leave it fermenting and once it's done it's ready to go i think that I, I may be completely wrong on that, and I'm sure you can tell me, and I'm sure he told me, but he says he says an awful lot. So yeah, that's going to sit there till that bar fills up, and then it'll go into beers and join these lot. Right, next up we have to set up our cars. So we've got one car, it's got a maximum capacity of 600. We have to choose a mechanic, of course. Oh no, I don't. I have to do what he says. 
we have to choose a schedule. So every time you get a schedule, you have to choose for it to go on to that lorry. So we'll put both of those on there, like so. We then have to choose a mechanic. Again, it is only us. We, we don't have any employees. Um, we can do three jobs, I'm guessing. It says one out of three here. So when we click that, that probably goes to two out of three. Lovely. Now, if we press play, our little truck loads up on 500. So that's that one contract complete. He's going to drive all the way along to the Dancing Pony. And once he gets there, we're going to get a little bit of money and hopefully some uh, relationship points. Ready, unloading. There we go, five relationship points and a bit of money. So I'm going to pause it a second. I feel like the, the, I did say to the, I sort of commented on Ajax post and said to the developer, I'm like, making money is hard. And he went, uh, pausing, using the pause button to your advantage is a big bonus. Because if we're unpaused, our money is constantly counting down. And he's exactly right. So we got these two little buttons in the top left. We can put these up so we can see what's in our wart and what's in our production. Again, I really like that. Nice little touch. You can have them open. You don't have to have them open. We made it a bit of money. Let's go up here. So then when we go on here, five relationship points. And ultimately, that's what we're going to do as we go forward. We're just going to sort of to individual contracts once our relationship gets to a congratulations your earnings it's nice blah 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 yep finish the tutorial excellent brilliant now i'm in charge so those should be doing our production should still be producing which it is our money is ticking down beer shop uh, has a new quest available <laughs> which is over here Without reducing the quality as the quest, I don't want it. I don't want to do... I don't see the point in doing contracts for someone who's going to give me plus 0%. So I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to ignore it completely. My aim is to get the relationship with uh, the dancing pony and the supermarket, one or the other, whichever gets there first, up to the point where we have a good enough relationship that we can set up a standing contract. So a set amount of points every day or whatever it is. That's what I'm, I'm looking forward to. I'm, I'm hoping that's going to start producing some good money for us. So you want strength for four to six. Hmm, what are we coming out at then? What does this tell me? Strength five, 4.9, 5.7. So it would be, hmm, do you know what? That's not a bad shout. I'm going to take that contract. Uh, that one, four to six, lovely. And we got another non-requirement contract, which is always good. Now, there is no timers on the contracts from these guys, which is amazing. So you can take it and eventually fill it. Here's one of these random pop-up ones, which normally pay very well. So if we click on the contract, um, Estella Colburn... Requires 300 pints, no requirement, plus 57%, which it which is a good price. But we do only have 18 days to fulfill that contract. Do you know what? I think we can do that perfectly fine. So I'm going to accept that, and that is going to be that's going to be our important contract. So that's the one we're going to concentrate on first. Now, cars. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to take that one out, and I'm going to put. I'm going to put Estella in, I think. The reason I do that is because I feel like if you're going to send the car out, you might as well get as many pints on as possible. So like the Dancing Pony, we've got a contract for 500. I'd rather get like three to 500 pints on there. If you have it just set automatically, as soon as 100 pints are ready and you set it to the destination, it just takes that 100 pints. And I'm thinking you have to pay to run that vehicle. I'm presuming the devs would have included that. So we're avoiding it. Beer-wise, we've got none in at the moment, but it is getting there. Uh, I'm not speeding up. I, I, the money flies down when you speed up. It scares me, if I'm honest. I'm not entirely sure the money flying down matches up with the speed these go up. So I'm quite happy just plodding along. Let's have a look. 
Um, no requirements. Lovely. Features wheat. There we go. 57%. Do you know what? 21 days. 21 days. How many... Can we see how... Wait, wait, wait. Before I take that, let's have a look at our wort. wort. Fermentation time. It doesn't... Like, I, I'd like to know how many days that is. If I go to production, how long do you take to ferment? It doesn't tell me. Do you know what? I'm going to accept it. I'm going to take a risk. We're going to take it. We're almost up to 300 pints now, which is all we need to fulfill uh, this contract, the uh, Stella Colburn contract. We've still got 14 days. There we go. Bosh. So let's pause it. We're going to go Estella, Estella, and Estella. Now, this doesn't help with our relationship. We don't build relationships with these people, but it is good for money. So then if I close that, press play, there's our van loaded up with all 300. It's going to complete the contract. Money's already looking horrendous. Like, it's going down so quick, but I'm hoping we get a, a nice chunk of change from this. 1,253. And I feel like the beginning of the game, like this stage, that's what I feel like you have to do. You have to tread water. If we look at our money situation, balance is minus 100. Like, like it's going down every day. We're not making enough. It's very much a case of treading water. And that's exactly what we're going to do. As soon as these rest of the beers are ready, right, that's one ready. So if we go to car... We put Claire Dobbs in. She wants 300. Again, we're probably going to wait for one more and we'll send those off. So let's, yeah, one more because you've got no requirements, right? Wheat. Ah, oh, you're only waiting for wheat. Okay. That's not bad, right? If, mm, so we could send out two wheat and something for the dancing pony. That's not a bad idea. You can go to the dancing pony, which is, we'll put you on that one. Uh, we're going to pause. You're going to go to Claire Dobbs. Now, you may think just wait until you've got 600 pints. But see this little green bar here. This little green bar is your shelf life. And as it sits here, you'll see now. Oh, wait. Did you just take it? You did take that 100 pints. Of course you did. Because I was explaining. This goes down. Shelf life goes down. And you don't want to send bad beer. So... That's an important thing to consider. Um, I'm annoyed he's just taken one pint, if I'm honest, but 100 pints, but we'll go with it. Now, oh, you look a different. I like how the colour varies on the picture as well, look. So if we go colour 23, colour 15, and the picture actually shows that. I think that's lovely. There we go. We're going to go with that one. We're going to put you into Claire Dobbs and you guys. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. Cars. Um, transport. We're taking that one. Otherwise, it would have just took Claire's and not the dancing pony. So now it should take out three pints. 300 pints, which is what we want. There we go. Lovely. They're going out. It can definitely do that. It will quarter there first and here second or vice versa. Probably Claire Dobbs first, which is fine because that's the one that's going to make us a good amount of money. And then go up to the Dancing Pony. Well, it didn't make us that much money. 404. Oh, because we still got one to go. Okay. Well, there's the other one for Claire Dobbs. We know that much. I would like... I am interested to know if it costs more to send out... Like, is it charging me to send that van out? Or is it just a flat rate we're getting anyway? Um, new quest available. Lovely. Go away. So, for example, is it costing me more to send 100 points than it would for 300 points? I may have to I may have to message the dev at some point. Or, or if you see this developer, that's an interesting question. Does it make a difference how many points I send out? Or is the van always costing me just one flat rate? Does it cost me to travel or does it only cost me in maintenance? I suppose that's what I'm trying to ask. So, yeah, I'm going to carry on and get some of these done. Uh, just to step us forward a bit, we're, go we're definitely going to try and work on this. We've got a 10 relationship, which is very good. Uh, beer has no destination. 
We can fix that, sir. Yes, we can. You're going to the dancing pony. You're going to the dance. Wait, how many is that now? So it's had 200, 400. That will finish that contract and hopefully get us some more relationship points. We fulfilled a couple more contracts. Um, we've got a new one there. I'm wondering if the, when the relationship goes up, the price they pay goes up. I, d I never noticed that before, but it was 25% last time. Now it's 34%, which is really good. We've got a couple more temporary contracts. This one's a bit rubbish. Plus 5%. Uh, they want cream ale and international amber lager. So probably not going to do that. But this one down here, 63%. I am actually tempted. It's only 300 points. So I feel like we could do that. So if we go to here, um, that one then needs to go to the high school reunion. Those two need to go to the dancing pony. Lovely. Uh, oh. The dancing pony ones have gone. <laughs> I was just about to add this one. Oh, I, I am paused. See, I was going to add this one at the same time so it could do both. But apparently uh, we were too quick for that. I, I definitely think the improvements they've made has, have helped. I don't feel like I'm treading water half as much. So, um, objective complete. Let's pause the game a second. Um... And as a reward, you receive recipes for two new styles of beer. We've got the American Light Lager and the Wheat Wine. Now, the Wheat Wine, if I'm correct, takes... Yeah, there we go. 11 days to f ferment. 11, where the, the Light Lager takes five days. So quite a difference in those two. So we're going to say, OK, thank you very much. We're going to go to objectives. So we've done that one. Now... You have a time limit. So we fulfilled it quickly. So we got silver, which gave us two pint, two of the beers. If you do... No, we've done gold. If you do silver, you would have only got one of those beers. I think it's the light beer you get, if I'm correct. Now, second contract. Two, sign two contracts for permanent supplies. This is what we're working towards with our relationships. If we do it in 25 days, we get gold. If we do it in 35 days, we get silver. Um, how, Wait. It doesn't... We're at 35 on relationship. That's not bad. I think that's gone up fairly nicely. Oh, you're after them as well. I, I feel like these are here to distract me from, from beating those targets. What have we got waiting? So you're going... That's fine. We should have another one now. So that'll be, those two could probably go out actually. So if we go to here, we go high school reunion. Our van can take those two 200 points straight out because the, the next 100 is going to be a little while. Another thing to consider when playing this game is if you go to your production, see here we got minus 4.88%, which is your quality bonus. So I think it means as your equipment gets older, this... This, this changes. So your equipment gets worse, the quality of your beer gets worse. Makes sense. As far as I know, there's no way of maintaining the equipment. Like, maintenance would be a great idea. We could do three jobs. We're only doing two at the moment, so we could also do that. Our options are buy new equipment. Which sort of seems a bit extreme, considering we've only been going 27 days. But it is, it's an option. It's an option to keep the quality of our beer up there. What have we got going on here? So you're going to be our last one for the reunion. You're going to go nowhere. Oh, have I not got any more contracts? Dancing Pony, what's your contract? No requirements, except. Lovely. Uh, let's send you to the Dancing Pony. We're going to go to Cars. Oh, we do have two Dancing Ponies. International Dark Lager. I don't even remember accepting that. I'm not making international... Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, whoops. Okay, we'll put you into the list. We'll go to production. We could set up another production line. How much is equipment? Um, buy equipment. It doesn't... T oh, wait. Price. 300, 300. Okay, so that's five, 300 in... That's six, 900... No, 1,400. I'm tempted. I'm not going to lie. 
I am tempted. But we can also, if I'm correct, is it here? Modernization. We can upgrade. Um, so this one increases the beer shelf life by one day. This one increases fermentation time by minus 5%. That costs 2,005. Oh, these are expensive. Hmm. Hmm. I might just sort of float with that contract for the time being. I feel like, why not? You're going to go and complete this contract down here, which is the school reunion. Money's sort of sitting at 3,000. I'm okay with that. You're going to where? A dancing pony. Yes, you are. International dark. I'm tempted to set up another production line. Because then we could get International Dark Lager going. So let's go new production line. Buy equipment. Let's do it. Let's spend some money. So we got... That's the... Uh, oh, oh no. I bought two of them. Oh, my bad. Wait. Okay, so you unused equipment's at the top. Buy equipment's at the bottom. So I could do that and just buy it and it goes straight in. Huh. Well, in, in that case... In that case, we could replace that at some point in this. And that should improve our percentage. So, let's make the International Dart Lager for the time being. We want it to be... Oh, wait. All right. All right. Calm, <laughs> calm yourself. <coughs> let's have a look. So, 0.68. I'm going to go with brewlikeaboss.com. We do like them. Um... Malt King and them are the same price and the same thingy. So we might as well get both from brewlikeaboss.com. Then we need some hops. Um, 16's quite... 19's better. Urgh. Let's go with you. Who are we using up there? Hopcon. Did we not have Hopcon here? 26. No, ignore that. Stick with what you went with. Then we're going to go brew, Brewery Depot? Maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's going to go into storage. It takes seven days to ferment. We need to add a brewer, which is us. So that's our third job. We can't do any more jobs now. Storage is full. Okay. That's not my fault. Oh, we got loads here. Uh, Dancing Pony. Dancing Pony. Dancing Pony. Have we put... Yep, yeah, we've definitely put that on because it's off. It's doing its thing. Okay. So we may need to upgrade then. Right, we'll do that on... There we go. So we only need 400, I think it was, right? Uh, objectives. No. Um, employees, statistics, suppliers. How do I find... Ah, here, contracts. International Dart Lager 400. Once we produce those 400, I may I may shut that line down because that's obviously going to cost us twice as much money to produce. That's what I'm thinking. How are we doing relationship-wise? 39. We're almost on 40. That's lovely. You're offering 64%. You're offering 64%. Um, you want wheat beer and you want 400 you want, oh, I'm going to take 15, 15 days, 15 days and what? 17 days. So when it gives you styles and it gives you the option of two, you only have to produce one. It's just one of those two is the option. Seven, I might take the, 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 the 15 days. I reckon we can do that in 15 days. I think that should be perfectly fine. So if we go to here, we're going to send you to here. And that'll be 300 pints. You can go to the Dancing Pony, which will fulfill that contract. But before I do that, I want to add our special... Wait, our special delivery. Oh, no, it's already gone. <laughs> I was trying to send both out on the same van, but the driver's like, ah, no, no, I'm off. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, so that hopefully will boost our money back up once we complete that one. Ah, oh, you're going... Yeah, so there we're going. That's fine. That works. 
Um, you can also go to there. And we've almost completed it already, straight away. Do we have any dark lager? We've got 100 pints of dark la lager so far. Production's a bit stagnant at the minute because we are full. We need to we need to up our storage. I tell you what I would like to see. As you upgrade your brewery, it would be nice if we took over these buildings and you, you got a visual upgrade. I think that would be really cool. Like we could make that square our entire brewery at some point. Like maybe we could buy the building. In, instead of just going, oh yeah, upgrade for this amount of money, we could choose one of these and choose what the upgrade is. That would be cool. Just, just a thought. Uh, why have we paused? Because it's telling us the production. Every time the production line's full, it pauses the game. That's not helpful to me. <laughs> Where are you going? You're going nowhere. Wait. Oh, because we need we need more. We need more contracts, Mr. Pub. Colour of 17 to 37. This one's probably not... No, that's not going to... Huh. So ultimately, neither of those are any good for that beer. For the international payroll. So we could start going to the supermarket. Wheat, wheat, and wheat. Oh, it just needs all wheat. Which means we may have to change our production. If I go to production, we go to brewing schedule and we take you off. And we just... Brewing is stopped. That's fine. Bin it. And we'll just stick with the wheat beer. I feel like that's a good idea. Because we're currently getting um, the international uh, amber lager that we can't do anything with. Now you're going to go and fulfill that contract. Off you go, Mr. Van. Fulfill that contract. Money is slowly going down. Well, I've got 200 dark ales. One being produced, so that would be 300. So we only need one more of those. We've got another international dark lager, which is no good to us. I might have to send it to one of these. Do we have... Yeah, you've got no requirements. I know it sound, it, it's silly, but we need to be able to send these somewhere. Otherwise, they're just going to go off. So let's go to here. We're going to add you and you to that. Lovely. You'll pick those up. Pop them around the corner. Bob's your uncle. Right. How many days have you got left? 14 days. We should start producing wheat beer, beer a lot quicker now because it's not going to alternate. So I'm going to say we'll take it. We'll take that 66%. I feel like we can handle that. We've got rid of those other couple of pints to there. That's lovely. What have we got now? A wheat beer. Which we want to send to... Oh, have we not fulfilled that yet? Oh, no. Don't do that. Oh, no. I sent that to the wrong one. <gasps> oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, that was completely my bad. Right, let's go back to here. Do you have any... You don't have any just non-specific contracts. That's fine. We, I think you probably will have, right? Wheat, international pale, and international amber. It is amber we're producing, right? Yes. But how many ambers? So we got one there, two in the wart, three... So 300 pints. We can do 300 of it. You want 500. Oh, we may have to let those pints go to waste at this rate. Wheat, wine, and 17 to 37. Nope. You're all going to be the same. Unless we can find one without a requirement, we may be in trouble here. For those couple of... I say couple. That's like 300 pints down the drain. You never know. The uh, the dancing pony might come in handy. So production-wise, see, this is plus 50, 59%. I feel like we need to... Have you done 400 now? One, two... Wart. How many darks have we got? One, two, three. So we need one more 
dark, which is going to be produced once we got a bit more space. Wheat beer. There we go. So that's going to the birthday party. That's an international dark. So that's going to the dancing pony. Lovely. Uh, that's already gone out. I could have sent those out together, but I didn't because I didn't think about it. Let's add you to it. So it will take the birthday one when it gets back. You've got nowhere to go, which is really annoying. I hate wasting the beer. Wheat wine... 1737. When it says wheat wine, yeah, it means the Christmas one. Mm hmm. You're not 1737, are you? Wait, was that color? 1737. Let's go to water second. No, only one of those amber ones are going to qualify. That's a bit of a shame. Are you all still rubbish? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, actually, what about that bottom one? Middle one. Top one. That one. Gravity 9.7 to 14.7. 9.7. Oh, we could do that. Is that only 300? It, no, 400. Do you know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. There's no time limit, but it does mean we can send these out and not waste them. So if we go to car, we choose that to go on there as well. And it should do its thing and take all of those. That's the plan. There we go. So they're all gone. We're waiting for some more wheat to come through. This is the thing. You're balancing money with with relationship i want to be doing the the dancing pony contracts for a relationship but the money's counting down so much that's not really an option at the minute and this is the one that's paying is the birthday one so we're going to do that that's fine the van's gonna oh the van's going out anyway that's fine so hopefully by the time he gets back we'll have another wheat maybe maybe i don't think we will We've got pale ale coming through. So we could take that out at the same time. I just feel like... Like sending just 100 pints on a van that can take 600. It doesn't... No. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on it as much as I can. There we go. So you're going to the beer station, which will complete that. You're going to the dancing pony. Lovely. So you're going to take all three of those now, which is good. You're not just... You're going to be all over the map, but we can deal with that. Another little bugbear of mine is if the storage is full, you can't change this. So if I wanted to just put it on one single run, so it ends at the end of that, which I do, because this one is minus 7.8. Once we finish the dark, we'll just transfer our wheat beer onto this production line, which is plus 0 0.44. Oh, it's gone down to... Wow, we lost 0.20 almost point 20 in one day and now i can't do anything <laughs> i just want you to stop that production please where are you going you're going to the oh we've only got six days left on the birthday party that's fine we only need 200 points and the other one should all there we go bosh ready birthday party birthday party that completes that you're going to the dancing pony. Everyone's happy. Great. Let's go to production. Can we stop these yet? No. Oh, wait. No. Don't don't do it. Don't produce. Right, we should definitely have enough dark. Now, right? One, two, three. We've already sent some out. That's fine. So let's go to production. I'm going to get rid of this line here. Yes. We're going to put wheat beer on this one. Then we're going to go through and choose what we want. 49. I think brew like a boss we're going to stick with because that's a fairly good price. We went Thomas and Thomas last time, right? Maybe we spend a little bit more. No, I'm going to go Thomas and Thomas again. And then here it was Hopcon because it's 0 0.26 and in the wrong place. So that's why I'm going for it. And then we've got our yeast, which, if I'm correct, we went brew, brewery depot. 
Because again, that's quite a big jump. Yeah, we'll go with that. We're going to go constant run. Lovely. So we're just producing wheat beer at the minute. We've got a lot of spare equipment. Can we sell this equipment? Or maintain it? Maintenance cost, minus 15%. But we're not maintaining it. Look how much shelf life on that equipment has dropped, what, a quarter in 45 days? I mean, like, ah, you'd have to, for, for an entire year's production, you'd have to buy so much equipment, it would be mad. There has to be a way of maintaining it. There has to be. Maybe I, I'm missing it somewhere. Okay, you're offering 74%. Colour, 6 to 26. Colour, 6. Colour, 9. We could do that. I don't want the beer station contract. I'm tempted to take that one. There's uh, 100, 200. We just need another 500 pints to go on there. And that shelf life's getting low already. So we're going to send that out. Lovely. Happy. Great. Let's keep treading water. How's our relationship with the Dancing Pony doing? 56. I'm sure we're getting to the point now where we're going to have a, like, the chance to have a, a long-term contract. I don't know how I find... There was a way of finding out. If I go to quests, no. Objectives. Go... To, yeah, but that doesn't tell me how I get permanent contracts. I'm sure the man in the corner probably told me at some point. Or you're going to tell me. Oh, here. 95% di discount for hobbits with... Oh, no, that's not what I want. Tell me... About relationships. Was it in here I read it? Contracts. Types of contracts. Um, please note that... No. Oh, please note that if uh, the expire of date of beer is coming to an end, the customer will buy it only at a discount. If the expire date of beer ends in three days, its price drops by 50% from the base. If in two days, by 75%. If in a day, by 90%. Okay. Selling price of your beer. Customers will be ready. Wait. I want to know. Customers. Does that say anything about cars and destinations? I may have to read right through that at some point. It probably will explain it. So color 17 to 37. Did I say we could do that? No, no, we can't. The Dancing Pony is giving me rubbish contracts at the minute. Beer has no destination. Well, we can fix that. You're going to the History Lovers Club. You're going to the History Lovers Club. You're going to the Dancing Pony. And we're avoiding the other contract that gives us very little money. Because why not? Why not? Why give it to them if they're going to give us no money for it? That's going to be like our bin, basically. Every time we get something we've got no better contracts for, then we'll send it there and eventually complete that contract. For now, it can just sit there. I'm quite happy for it to sit there. Money's going up, though. I'm definitely doing better than I've ever done on my, my test, like previous playthroughs with money. That makes me happy. What are you at? 58%. Ooh, this is good. I still need to know what that percentage is. Customers. No, this is supposed to be about contracts. Types of contract. Let me read this. So it doesn't tell me what the... Oh, wait, here. Relationship of at least 85. Hmm. But reading this, this bit here makes me very, very excited. Right, so the types of contracts you get. We've got um, one-time contract for the supply of a limited batch of beer, which is what we're doing in a minute. We've got permanent for the unlimited supply of a certain beer. That's what we're trying to work up to. And then we've got special for the supply of branded beer styles, which were created by you. 
we get to create our own branded beer. That's that's what I want. We've got a long way to go on relationships. A long way to go. What have we got in here? Ah, so you've got nowhere to go now. So we might as well fulfill that contract. Color 35. What was the color? May, maybe. Maybe we could... Ah, oh, we're one, 100 short. Because you'd both go to it, right? I'm going to take that. And then we'll get our um, lower quality equipment doing that one just to get that extra hundred. You want wheat wine. That's never, ever, ever going to happen. Wheat wine takes far too long to ferment and I need to be making money. That's like a later down the line thing. This will finish off our history lovers club, which is amazing. That's great. Let's go to cars. Let's go add that one to it. And that should get underway. I think that's a good place to leave it. Join me next time where hopefully, hopefully we hit that relationship milestone. What did it say we needed to do it in? Objectives. No days. Nine days. Sign. Oh, there's no days left on the good one. We haven't done it in time. We... We've only got nine days to do it in the silver. How? That... What? Oh, I suppose we messed around too much with all the smaller contracts to make money. But we did get some new equipment. So do you know what? I'm okay with that. I just want to get to the next stage where we can start creating our own beer. If you're excited to see that, join me next time. If you've enjoyed anything during this episode, hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. And until next time... I'll see you again.